Welcome to Philosophy Acquired. Today, we will learn about the controversial, occult philosophy. Leave us a follow if you enjoy the episode. Occult philosophy is not for everyone, but I'd advise you to consider it as being, to respect the masses that follow it. The term occult is derived from the Latin word occultus, which means hidden or concealed. Occult philosophy, therefore, concerns itself with hidden or concealed knowledge, knowledge that is not readily apparent and often lies beyond the boundaries of mainstream understanding. It has ancient roots that extend across various cultures and epochs, making it a rich tapestry of ideas, practices and beliefs. One of the earliest known expressions of occult philosophy can be found in the ancient mystery schools of Egypt, Greece and Babylon. These secret societies, such as the Eleusinian Mysteries, Pythagorean schools, and the Hermetic tradition, were dedicated to preserving and transmitting esoteric knowledge. Bishops were taught a combination of spiritual, philosophical, and mystical teachings that were not meant for the general populace. In the Hellenistic period, a pivotal figure in the development of occult philosophy was Hermistress Megistus, a legendary teacher and author whose works, collectively known as the Hermetica, laid the foundation for Hermeticism. The Hermetic tradition emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. It's also introduced the idea of the correspondence between the microcosm and macrocosm, a key concept in many occult systems. During the Middle Ages, occult philosophy was intertwined with the religious and mystical currents of the time. Alchemy, for instance, sought to transform base metals into gold and attained spiritual enlightenment through the magnum opus or great work. Figures like Paracelsus and John Dee were prominent alchemists and magicians who explored these mysteries. The Renaissance period witnessed a revival of interest in occult philosophy, driven by thinkers like Massilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola, who believed in the unity of all knowledge and the interplay between science, religion and magic. This era also gave birth to the notion of the occult sciences, which included astrology, numerology, and other esoteric disciplines. Key Concepts of Occult Philosophy This occult philosophy is a multifaceted domain of thought, but it revolves around several core concepts that shape its worldview and practices. A fundamental tenet of occult philosophy is the belief in the interconnectedness of all things. This principle asserts that everything in the universe is interrelated and knowledge of one aspect can provide insights into others. The hermetic maxim, as above, so below, as below, so above, encapsulates this idea. Occultists often use symbols and correspondences to represent complex, hidden truths. This can be seen in astrology, where planetary positions are interpreted symbolically, or in alchemy where chemical processes reflect spiritual transformations. The cult philosophy distinguishes between esoteric and exoteric knowledge. Esoteric teachings are reserved for initiates and those willing to delve deeper into the mysteries, while exoteric knowledge is more widely accessible. Many occult systems propose a path of spiritual evolution or enlightenment. This journey involves personal transformation, self-discovery, and the pursuit of higher states of consciousness often aiming to achieve union with the divine or cosmic consciousness. These occult practitioners often employ rituals and magic as means to access hidden knowledge, influence events, or connect with higher spiritual realms. These practices can range from simple divination methods to elaborate ceremonial magic. Mysticism is a vital aspect of occult philosophy, emphasizing direct personal experiences of the divine or hidden truths. Gnosis, or spiritual knowledge gained through direct revelation, is highly valued. Alchemy, both in the physical and spiritual sense, plays a central role in occult thought. It symbolizes the transformation of the soul, the pursuit of perfection, and the search for the philosopher's stone, a substance that grants immortality and enlightenment. Impacts on history and culture. Occult philosophy has left an indelible mark on history and culture, shaping the beliefs, practices, and worldviews of countless individuals and societies. Its influence can be seen in various areas. The revival of ancient occult traditions during the Renaissance had a profound impact on the development of humanism, which emphasized the individual's capacity for growth 
knowledge, and self-realization. Some key figures in the scientific revolution, like Isaac Newton and Johannes Kepler, were deeply influenced by occult ideas, particularly astrology and alchemy. These influences can be seen in their work on natural philosophy and the laws of motion, occult symbolism, and themes have inspired artists and writers throughout history. Figures like William Blake, Gustave Moreau, and Aleister Crowley incorporated occult concepts into their works, resulting in powerful and enigmatic creations. Occultism has had a lasting impact on religious and spiritual movements. Theosophy, for example, combined elements of Eastern spirituality, Western esotericism, and occult philosophy to form a unique spiritual tradition. The 19th and 20th centuries witnessed the emergence of new occult movements and secret societies, such as the Golden Dawn and the Ordo Templi Orientis, which sought to preserve and extend occult knowledge. Specific Occult Practices Astrology is the study of the positions and movements of celestial bodies such as planets and stars and their influence on human affairs and natural phenomena. Astrologers interpret these celestial events to create astrological charts, which provide insights into an individual's personality, life path, and potential future events. Alchemy is a multifaceted practice that blends elements of chemistry, mysticism, and philosophy. It seeks to transmute base metals into gold and discover the philosopher's stone, a substance believed to bestow immortality and spiritual enlightenment. Alchemy's symbolism and allegorical nature have made it a rich source of esoteric knowledge. The nation encompasses a wide range of practices aimed at gaining insight or predicting the future. Methods include tarot card reading, palmistry, scrying such as crystal ball gazing, and the use of oracles. These techniques often rely on symbolism and intuition. The tarot is a deck of cards used for divination and self-reflection. Each card in the deck has its own symbolism and interpretation. A tarot reading involves drawing cards and interpreting their meanings to gain insights into various aspects of life, including love, career, and personal growth. The practice of magic, often spelled with a K to distinguish it from stage magic, involves the use of rituals, symbols, and intent to influence events, manifest desires, or communicate with spiritual entities. Various traditions of magic, such as ceremonial magic and chaos magic, exist. Mysticism refers to the pursuit of direct, personal experiences of the divine or hidden truths. Mystics often employ meditation, prayer, and altered states of consciousness to access higher levels of awareness and transcend the boundaries of ordinary perception. Contemporary relevance. While occult philosophy has ancient origins, it remains relevant in the modern world for several reasons. Many individuals turn to occult practices for personal development, spiritual growth, and self-discovery. Tools like astrology, tarot, and meditation can offer valuable insights and guidance. Occultism provides an alternative to traditional religious beliefs and practices. It allows people to explore spirituality on their own terms and connect with a variety of spiritual traditions. As occult symbols and themes continue to inspire artists, writers, and filmmakers. The use of esoteric imagery in popular culture, such as in movies like The Matrix and books like Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code, reflects its enduring appeal. Some individuals and therapists use occult practices, particularly Jungian psychology and dream analysis, as tools for self exploration and therapy. This occult philosophy challenges the boundaries of conventional knowledge and invites philosophical inquiry into the nature of reality, consciousness, and the human experience. Debates and Criticisms Occult philosophy has not been without its skeptics and critics. Some common debates and criticisms. Many critics argue that occult practices lack empirical evidence to support their claims. Skeptics often dismiss astrology, divination, and magic as pseudosciences or superstition. These critics also highlight the potential for exploitation within the occult community. Some practitioners may take advantage of vulnerable individuals, charging exorbitant fees for services or promoting unrealistic claims. These critics caution against placing too much faith in occult practices, arguing that excessive belief can lead to irrational thinking and poor decision-making. 
cult practices can vary widely in terms of ethics and morality. Some individuals and groups may engage in practices that others find objectionable or unethical. This is the end of the episode. Listening to an episode many times may help you memorize and utilize its information more effectively.